Welcome to the Schumacher Homestead, located on Vixel Road, uh, midway between Bluffton and Pandora. I'm Ron Laura, a board member of the Swiss Community Historical Society, and I'd like to discuss the barn behind me um, for a, just a few minutes and highlight several items uh, inside. You can see here that uh, an awning has been removed in the last month and it's uh, where we're going to install a, a bank uh, yet this summer. What's unique about this barn is that it had two banks, one on this side and one on the opposite side, where horses could drive up in uh, on this side, uh, empty their load and uh, empty on the other side. Uh, general farming was the rule um, 150 years ago and so all farms had to have um, uh, bar uh, had to have uh, barns um, we know that this barn was built in 1854 because there's a date stone uh, embedded in, in the uh, foundation this area was heavily um, forested and imagine all the siding of the barn uh, every side, all of a came from one tree, one large walnut tree, and the the uh, roof, uh, the shingles measuring 30 inches by 8 inches, 10,000 of them. So if you stretch that out, we're talking about more than four miles. We're in the barn now, and one of the beauties of this post and beam architecture no nails, um, wooden pegs held mortise and tenon uh, together. When um, a track was installed at the top, a track and pulley in the late 1880s, that allowed uh, the tenants here to remove the two banks from the side and create a new one where we just walked in and now horses could draw their wagons in with hay and load it up uh, with, uh, fill it up to the top with uh, slings like here, or if they didn't use slings, they could uh, use a grappling hook such as that, or perhaps harpoon, uh, harpoons, which they plunged into the load and carried off as much as they can. One, one thing is that when you got it up to the track, then uh, the horses pulled another rope and they could push it to any, pull it to any position in the mouth that they want and dumped it. I worked with such a system when I was a boy, very handy. In the distant corner there, that's the granary for wheat and oats. This is one of two hay chutes we have boarded off for uh, protection. Here are two uh, back uh, box wagons. Uh, the first one here uh, produced in uh, Bluffton by Bogart and Patterson. The one in the rear comes from Columbus Grove um, by J.O. Wagner and Company. Box wagons were very important um, a century ago to carry, carry grain. One of our most prized possessions is a Conestoga wagon um, here to my left, now in front of me. And this carried the John Diller family uh, to Pandora <coughs> from Wayne County uh, in 1830-36. This is a small um, Conestoga wagon, uh, not a large one, not even average uh, size. Um, and we used it uh, in a parade in the Blutton Bicentennial uh, about a decade ago. I'd like to uh, highlight a hay loader uh, that was used um, uh, the better part of a century ago, such as one that I walked behind often as a young boy or walked on the wagon, worked on the wagon. Uh, the hay uh, was gathered from the ground with these uh, wooden rods with tines uh, in them, and they took it up the chute and dumped it into uh, the wagon where a couple of men or boys 
uh, uh, positioned it, distributed it uh, evenly uh, throughout uh, uh, the, uh, the wagon load. Uh, we have here what the locals at the time called a schnitzelbank. It's a shaving horse where you made shingles, cut the wood into uh, the proper length and you split it with a fro uh, and mallet and then with a draw knife shaped it as you wanted it. I just take a quick photo of this, a 50 foot log uh, west of Bluffton. That's the size of lumber at the time in this forested uh, area. The, what we think the barn might look like is in the drawing here at the bottom when we have it restored as it was. One last item is a corn uh, cedar or corn drill uh, pulled by a horse. Imagine farming uh, 500 acres that way or even 100 acres uh, that way. It, it just uh, it couldn't, couldn't be done. That brings us to uh, the door where we came in and I want to thank you for uh, taking this tour with me and I invite you to go to uh, the website of the Swiss Community Historical Society and look at our events and consider which ones you might want to uh, view uh, come to uh, in person. Thank you very much.